Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing a game called Dungeon Bosses. Now, let's get into this. So this is a game that is on mobile. Uh, you can play it on your iPhone or Android. Either way, uh, there was I've been doing a series, kind of took it on hiatus for a little bit, which was mobile games. I'm going to start coming back to that a little bit uh, due to the fact that, you know, a little Mini Ace is a little bit older. So this is a game that uh, I've been playing and I thought it was a ton of fun. So anyways, this is basically a dungeon crawler. So you're going to basically go through this and dungeon crawl. And you're going to get some characters. You can level them up. It's a ton of fun. So we'll just get into this and I'll te teach you guys a couple of tips and tricks while you're going through this. So we got Rogar. He is... Good, but there's definitely guys better. Of course, he's the first one that you get. So, as you'll see, every time you kind of go through this, there's scenarios where you can actually, uh, you know, go through, beat the levels, and you'll get rewards based off of that. So, you'll notice there that I just decided to attack the guy. You can do multiple things. So, they have powerful abilities that recharge over time. Whirlwind is ready to use. So, if you tap on that, now each of them has little different abilities. The great thing about this is it actually hits all enemies, um, as long as they don't dodge. So some enemies do have dodge, and that makes it uh, definitely unfortunate. And then at the very end of the level, you'll basically get to a boss. The Bass Bat. Yep. So anyway, so at this point you can realize that this Whirlwind does not actually have... Uh, you're not actually able to use it. These will actually carry over too. So if I were to play the next level, I would still have to wait however many turns were left. So right now it's gonna default, and if you just tap on the guy, you'll hit. This guy actually has leech. There's a couple other things you can do. For you, you can basically tap on the enemy, and it will bring up a list, and you can go, so he's immune to poison and disease, so you don't really wanna do either of those to him. He takes extra damage from fire attacks. So, great thing is, we are fire-based. You can tell because we're red. Um, you, see, you can see in the banner in the bottom left-hand corner. And they will be, at the end, you'll drop a loot. Now, there's three different types of chests. There's the just regular one that looks like wood. There's the silver one, and there's also a gold one. Basically, they all tell you how much you end up getting at the end. So, if you get a gold one, usually you'll get more than one token for the individual that you can get for that specific level. Now the tokens will come into effect in a little bit later as I you know, play through this. But for this one, basically know that we got 10 gems and we got an XP potion. Awesome. So we're gonna be collecting all of these heroes and this is gonna be kind of our home base. So if you click on our heroes, you'll see that we have Rogar Stonecrusher. If you click on the guy, you'll notice that you can use an XP. Now if you click on this and use it, you're going to basically boost him up to level 2. He's even more epic. So we can definitely take him for a spin. Again, this is a tutorial that's kind of gearing you up on how to take this on. So we're going to follow through this, and then I'm going to get into a little bit more of the details coming up. So this is basically just a tutorial. Don't use Whirlwind, there's only one enemy here. There's no point in doing anything more. Uh, I plan on making a couple videos for this just because it is pretty fun. So your fire here takes damage from water enemies. I mean if you guys play Pokemon or any type of game that is going to be the case. So we could use Whirlwind but again we really don't want to just due to the fact that you were going to save it hopefully because sometimes the bosses will have minions. I can't remember if this guy has a minion. I've been playing this for probably about a week before I actually recorded this. So there's two of them, which is perfect. Basically meaning we can take both of those guys down. And we may actually... Okay, good. So take this guy down real quick. One, it crit. But even if it didn't crit, um, it would have been helpful for us. Because this guy, we wouldn't have been able to take him down in one shot. And we would have had both of them basically hitting us at the same time. And you really don't want that. So we basically eliminated it just to one guy. And again, get a silver. They want to make you seem like you're getting a ton of stuff, which you are early on, which is always a good thing. If that seem harder, it's going to be bad. Okay. 
So if we go to this portal, I really shouldn't be doing this, but this one will be free too. Just don't tell the bot. So you'll see here that there's heroic summons, honor summons, and great summons. All of these can be kind of built up to a certain extent. Um, I'll show you guys kind of how this works. So if you summon this guy, this basically guarantees that you will get a person. Um, in this case, we got Willow Swift, which is basically a sniper. She's an archer, she's a sniper. We're gonna go take a look at Willow's card. And upgrading your abilities will make your heroes a true force to be reckoned with. So why not? We'll upgrade, we have enough. You now start to do some real damage, dungeon time. Now the one thing about her, that it, Willow Swift, that's really great is she always attacks first. Now because of that, there's going to be some times where you, know, you have multiple enemies and you'd like to use Rogar's Whirlwind, but you're not going to be able to. So for instance right here, there's just no point in doing the Whirlwind. We can basically just go straight. Uh oh, sounds like we got a dragon. Oh snap. Drake of Valor. Sweet. So, sniper. Usually try and save all of your uh, stuff till the end. But you guys will keep, you guys will play it and the more that you guys play it, you guys are going to have different strategies. Um, but for the most part, you really kind of want to wait till the very end of the boss to use kind of your special abilities. You'll notice here that again, this is the beginning, so they're they're wanting you to actually beat this. So he's not going to do that too much damage to him. So there's really not any point in using any more of your special. I just want to do that sniper because it was kind of easy to get that sniper shot, you know, hitting him pretty quickly. Plus, hopefully at some point we get a crit on him, which would definitely help us out. But he's really not going to be taking us out. And next time we play, next time you start a new dungeon, you actually get you start with full health. So that's really nice. So you'll notice right here, boom, take him down. No. He defeated a dragon. That is sweet. Again, we got some more coins. And some diamonds. Now diamonds are really, really helpful. I'll show you guys a little bit about that. When she lets me take uh take some time and she's going to show you what quests are quests are awesome uh, they are you'll see at the bottom all daily quests reset in, in six hours every 24 hours they reset they'll be indicated by the little timer in the upper left hand corner of each quest um, they're definitely things that you will want to do because you can get um, diamonds you can get uh, portal stuff so let's see is she going to give me control spend the gold they're gonna do it in the shop but I'm giving you 10 gems of fun money that's great okay she's gonna force you to buy a revive not the best thing but we'll take it specials you'll see stuff here not gonna do anything there plus we don't have any a lot of stuff now you'll notice here that we ended up spending 10 gold now we had to spend 25 gold, 25 diamonds in order to basically get another summon which is awesome so we'll do that but it looks like they're gonna make us fight these guys all right so we can actually do carry potions which are awesome Potions are kind of those things that I don't use them that much in this game, but I do have them as kind of a backup. So right now, 
again, strategy is these guys actually have a weakness to uh, to ranged attacks. So we're actually going to use her to just regularly hit these guys, take them out really quickly. Again, you saw a couple of those things flash. A lot of those things flash just because we have some quests active. So one of the reasons we did this was because we wanted to take that guy out. We also wanted to do some damage to this guy in the top. So this guy is a slow magical tank. He always attacks last. Um, he actually has pretty decent damage. He's kind of hard to take down. So we're actually going to try and uh, take him out before the next turn, which luckily we were able to. Uh, and then the rest of these guys should be fairly uh, simple. So she got ranged. Death from above is basically uh, taking out one of the flying guys. So we just gotta take out one more flying guy and we'll complete another quest. And we actually got a treasure room, which is awesome. So what happens with this is you basically have the opportunity to pick any three of these chests and you'll get kind of a reward. So that's awesome, we got an Evo. Explain those a little bit later. Yep. Yeah, and send your heroes. You definitely want to do that, but you also want some strategies because the evos can happen to multiple of your uh, of your characters. So this guy does not do that much damage at all. So we don't really have to worry about him. The great thing about ascending them is that you, some of your characters can gain second attacks, which is awesome. So take this guy out again. Not that hard. Death from above. Got another quest completed. Now this is again just a regular quest chest, so we didn't get anything really special from that. So we're definitely going to want to kind of play this again. But I think they're finally going to give me a chance to just kind of show you guys. So welcome to Dungeon Boss. Let's delete. Sometimes they'll actually have gems and stuff for you. Uh, but if you go in here to quest, you can actually claim some stuff. So, Novice Recruiter, we collected two heroes. Again, spend 20 gems. So, what we actually want to do right now, at, the, at least in the beginning, is basically spend some gems. So, what you can do, and which I would uh, recommend you do for right now, um, is this is a special op offer, so I would use that. Because you want to be able to get that 25. So, use that. The main reason, again, you're doing this is just so that you can get this extra portal. And that's just really important. Early on, it's it's very important to kind of hopefully get some things to stack. You'll notice, again, that we're gaining tons and tons of levels, which is pretty darn cool. Um, but we got some new stuff. So we can go to the portal. We can summon something for free. Now, sometimes it's not even something that great. So we got we got two evos, which is actually that's actually really good. Um, and did we get anything else? So we got two nitpicks, which is great. So basically, you'll see if we go to the campaign, this guy right here. So you basically have a chance to get this guy and unlock him. Um, those only happen once a day, so you want to make sure that you get those guys as much as you can. Um, you'll also notice that. Um, you can get them from quests as well. So you can upgrade for heroes abilities Right here to get some honor honor again are these scrolls up here uh, You can get some you can get some nice stuff with that Now you can win two PvP with all blue heroes. We don't really have that right now So we're not gonna do that too much, but you'll you'll see these quests So a lot of these quests you're gonna want to try and do on a daily basis So we actually got a free summon which is awesome so let's do another summon. Wow. So we got a couple of really great evos with that one. So what I want to do right here is we got the 100,000 and there's an option here to get five gold chests. Now the five gold chests are going to be really, really nice. Now for right here, we really only get tokens for these guys, but tokens are something that can really help you starting when you're starting out. So we're actually going to do that and hopefully kind of build our our team a little bit. So we got a gold right off the bat. Sell one the Enduring. Not my favorite guy, but glad to get him. Willow Swift. Great. An upgrade, basically, for her. Got some XP bonuses. Ooh, Bovis Eldoro. Man, this is a Minotaur. This is very nice. Six. Not the best. 
Zork, not the best, but we'll, we'll take him. Again, early on, you really want to try and get a couple of heroes. Abigail, she's she's good. She's good. Ooh, Selwyn, we got two of you. Willow Swift, nice. Appreciate it. We got a lot of gold, three. So that was great. I don't always recommend you doing that, but it's definitely kind of nice here in the beginning to kind of do that. Now, you'll see with these quests that we spent 1,500 gold. Awesome. So we basically gained some more of our uh, diamonds right here. So we can claim that, boom. Awesome, see, like these are the nice things you get. Now the energy is in the upper right hand corner. You can use that to kind of do what you want. Now it says defeat 20 beasts, we're gonna do that. But at this point, you really wanna focus on kind of unlocking these guys. So I'd actually play this one again and see what we can get out of this. So hopefully we get that guy as a character and we can kind of build off of that. A couple other things that you can do here is that there will sometimes be shiny objects in the background. Highly recommend that you uh, select those because they'll give you stuff like coins, uh, dungeon keys, which I'll explain a little bit after this one, and um, the ability to also uh, have some energy, which is awesome. So this right here, again, we're kind of saving our stuff up just because we know who's at the end. We kind of want to take him out pretty quickly. So you see at the bottom two there, that basically shows you like what levels you got to go to. Now on the bottom here, you're actually going to see an Evo. So these things will come up, um, there will be options for them, and they will actually help you to ascend your heroes. Um, that is very helpful. And um, they only last in the first round, so you definitely want to take them out. I didn't take him out first just because I knew that Rogar was going to do it and I knew that with her bow and arrow she do a lot of damage to the flying guy. So this is Chompy. Again, one of the reasons why we saved this was, again, more strategy than anything else. But you do that, it's a really nice crit, um, does some pretty good damage to him. And even if he tries to attack you, you still should be able to do some damage to him. So let's take him out right here real quick. And again, we're really hoping for a silver or a gold box. There we go, nice silver. Which basically, if you get a silver or a gold box, you basically get that character, character to unlock. Collect enough of them and you can unlock. Yes, you're right. So again, so for this one, you can actually get Willow Swift. Um, you'll notice here if we go into Heroes, you'll see that Themis, we now have one. And that's with those tokens that we were getting from the uh, summon portals. So again, tons of fun stuff. You can get rewards, we can claim those now. Every day that you come in, you can basically get those rewards. So that's kind of the introduction to Dungeon Boss. Um, I'll play a little bit of the beginning just to kind of show you guys little tips and tricks on how you get through it. Um, but it's just a ton of fun. I highly recommend you pick it up. Uh, if you pick it up, uh, I will tell you my name in the comments down below so you guys can add me. We can have guilds and stuff like that. It's just a ton of fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we kind of level up our characters. It's been Pitching88, over and out.